All righty, today we're going to be taking a look at the backwash from water treatment, specifically in this case, an acid neutralizer, which is a calcite tank, and a water softener. So in the state of Maryland, uh, this water is considered non-potable, is contaminated, and cannot be just discharged to a sump pump or to the surface. Now, this is a controversial discussion, so we're going to go ahead and hop right into it, and I will link below all of the information from Maryland, which cites different Comar regulations. Comar is the regulation that kind of is adapted, uh, accepted by the state for how to do things on a residential home. So, let's jump into it. So, with a calcite tank, you're going to have the water pushing down on the media inside of here. Over time, that media is going to get compacted. So what you'll need is to reverse the flow of the water, which this little head right up here is going to control, and that will fluff out the media to get it to start working the way that it's supposed to. Now, while it's doing that, that water is going to be uh, get picking up all sorts of particulates and debris, and it's got to go somewhere. And you can't just disperse that in throughout the rest of the home's plumbing. So what we'll generally see in our area is somebody will plumb it, to discharge to a utility sink or to the laundry discharge uh, waste pipe. So with that being said, that's the way it should look. Every now and again, you'll come across a property where they put the discharge line outside, either through a window, through the wall, or through a sump pump. In Maryland, you, you can't do that, right? Now, the reason it's controversial is the well guys or the plumbers do not want to have to put this discharge line directly into here because it's going to create a lot of issues of potential backflow. So they're going to have to put backflow prevention and they're going to have to make sure that that wastewater from the sewer does not work its way back into the water softener or the neutralizer. The septic guys don't want that stuff going into the septic system because it's gonna bring an additional uh, volume of water as well as additional chemicals that can disturb the solids and the chemistry that's going on inside of your tank. Maryland does allow, in certain circumstances, to completely discharge, uh, dis uh, discharge the wastewater into a distribution box or a drain field specifically designed for that, right? If you have a whole house RO system and you don't have a septic system that's designed for that volume of water, a lot of times, specifically in Baltimore County, you will notice that they will have a separate system entirely dedicated just to that whole house reverse osmosis, so that way you don't swamp out your primary sewage system. Maryland does give you the option uh, with best available technology units to also skip uh, the tank and go directly to the distribution box, but it is case by case and you have to discuss that with the county. This is still something that kind of changes regularly as of right now, 2024. The state and the counties do not want this wastewater discharged to the surface. A few years ago, nobody cared. It is always subject to change. Make sure you check with your local county health department as they'll have more information and can give you a better idea of exactly what's going on. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the in the comment section below. Like I said, I will also have the memorandums from the state citing the specific Comar regulations for your reading. Uh, if you enjoy content like this or would like more or have any specific questions on the world of well and septic, please feel free to like and subscribe. And I will have content posted daily so that way I can help bring everybody up to speed on what's going on in the world of well and septic.